Yeah, before we came in here? <laughs> yeah, I did. We're good. <laughs> no, did you? <laughs> I don't keep track of your pee cycles, dude. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It's cold out in the garage. You can see my breath. Ashley's with me today and we're sort of like itching to go winter camping. Uh, we plan on going next week, but I checked the weather for where we were going to camp and it's getting down to like negative two. So I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. We got good sleeping bags and everything, but this today, which we're going to try to install, will hopefully help out any winter camping that may come out in the future. We have an eye camper. It smack me in the face with that thing. It's soft. <laughs> it's an eye it's camper soft. insulated cover. It goes on the inside and it basically is like a little quilt to hopefully make the tent a lot warmer. I prefer not to use like a propane or a buddy heater because you're gonna get condensation inside the tent and that's no fun. Waking up after camping, it's Gross. probably the worst. That's Everything's nice. wet and especially if you have one of those inside, it's just, it makes packing up not so fun. So today we're going to install this little cover here inside of my iCamper SkyCamp Mini. I don't know if there's any instructions on here, but it should be pretty simple. And once I get around to using it fully, I'll let you guys know what I think. What does that little tag say? SkyCamp Mini Insulation Tent. What does it say? Can't read it. Unfold, locate the door, place it at the entrance. Okay, so there's little S hooks. So connect them in the back of the tent towards the hard cover. And then tension loops down on the side. Seven plastic hooks onto the pole at the entrance. And yeah, it's gonna prevent cold air drafts from entering your sky camp. Tuck the excess material underneath the mattress. It's gonna be hard to film because it's gonna be inside the tent, but here we go. Going up. A little bit of light from the Claymore. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off because I don't wanna get the tent dirty. Watch out. Yeah. All right, bring it on up. Oof. Nice little straps included here. You can take those, put them in the bag, please. Oh yeah, it's like a quilt quilt. This is gonna be nice. Now I gotta figure out the orientation. That looks like the door, so that probably goes towards your end. Okay, here are the clips. We're gonna go on that bar. It's gonna be hard to film because it's gonna go up all around, but I believe this is the back corner. That's the front zipper, right? You're doing so good. All right. Hey. Going inside. You have to be on the outside so you can put the clips on, bud. But it's warm in here. <laughs> it is actually already <laughs> warmer in here. All right, go ahead. Okay, back. I'm going. The excess under the mattress. I'm actually gonna put the windows down too, that way I don't have to do it when it's freezing. It's about to get dark in here. Get this window situated. I feel like it's already warmer in here. It definitely is. We just need to get the ceiling up a little bit more. All right, I don't know why I thought I could film that because it was like, I don't even know. It was like playing that parachute game as a kid yeah. in gym class and you go underneath it and there was just stuff everywhere. But install took like five minutes and it's already like noticeably warmer in there. You can see your breath out here in the garage, but in there. Breath test. Look how cozy this is. Come on in. All right, so we got two clips in the corner back there, one in the middle, and then down on the side there's little tethers that you tighten up. On the crossbar here you got a bunch of clips, I believe it was like three, four, five, six, seven, down the sides, little S clips in each corner here, and then you tuck the rest of the material into the mattress. They still have all these tie ups so you can tie up the door, you can tie up the inside X cover for the insulation. This is pretty rad. It's pretty cozy. We got a Claymore lantern up there, still testing out a bunch of their lights, and that thing is super nice in here. It's like a little cozy cabin, so. Awesome, we just need our sleeping bags. We can sleep in the garage tonight. Test it out, report back tomorrow. Test it out. Now these X10 insulation covers from iCamper, they're only about 200 bucks, and I think that's definitely worth the money so far. Won't truly know until we're out camping, but 
Even when we were camping in the Ozarks and it was like 30 degrees, it would have been a lot nicer in yeah, here with I these. Yeah, could use that. You have this zip, which is optional. So we have the skylight sort of rolled up right now. Both sides of the windows open up all the way with zippers and you can pull them out of the way for some morning views. Oh, that's a great view. Nice view. Close everything up because it's gonna be so cold. And then to actually fold the tent up, you can keep this cover inside. You just have to unclip like across the bar here. So we'll undo that, undo the top here, and then it should just fold up like normal. So we might as well give that a try. Yeah. Should we fold it up now? Do you wanna stay out here tonight? We should. All right, I guess we're camping in the garage tonight. <laughs> it is good to test your stuff out before you actually use it. Like I tested out a camp shower, not on video, but got a camp shower, tested that out. I climbed inside of my sleeping bag, so I guess we might as well sleep in here. Yeah. You wanna show off your sleeping bag? It's pretty cool. One for you. Neat. Oh my God. One for me. Fish pillows. Oh, those are in the van. The van's nice and warm. Yeah. This we is warm too. Yeah, this is warm now. So we went out and bought new sleeping bags because uh, I never really had a great sleeping bag. I was just kind of roughed it with like blankets and whatever else. So we got some new bags. Ashley got the Bozeman zero degree bag from Mountain Hardware. I've never owned any Mountain Hardware gear before, but I know they have a good reputation. There's gonna be some people who probably disagree with literally anything you say on the internet, but I'm excited to uh, sleep in these because we test fit ourselves into them and they were super nice. So the Bozeman one has like a fleece lined interior stuff sack. That way you could like throw a hoodie in here and use this as a pillow. So you could use that tonight if you wanted to. So I went with the Lamina, which was a little bit more expensive, but it does come with this compression sack, which is gonna be nice when I'm cramming gear into the truck. This thing sort of attaches to the sack itself. It's got an extra one here, it's sort of mesh. You'll probably use this as a laundry bag. And these are zero degrees, so people who are hardcore into camping aren't gonna consider them like an all season bag. They're gonna say you probably want something warmer for the winter time. But if you're in a tent like this and you have an insulated cover, I think we're gonna be just fine. Mm -hmm. Especially in here. I mean, it's probably only gonna be like, actually it's getting cold tonight. It might go down to like 20 degrees out here. Mm -hmm. So this is my bag. I don't have the nice fluffy interior. So just sew that out of the way. Look at it. You look like a carrot. So I guess we'll check back in around bedtime. Oh. <laughs> Buddy. What was that? Oh, the light's on out here. It's soundproof. It's got it's gotta be like outside so we can't we can't do lights. There we go. Wow, look at this mess on the floor. I know, it's snowing outside, so. Ooh, look at the tent. Oh, oh. nice. I'm doing so good over here. Yeah, you're doing great. Before we go in there, I'm gonna grab one more blanket. Do you wanna grab your blanket? Oh, my loose blanket. Oh, too bad. We left home already. You can't oh, go back and get it. Man. Can't go. I didn't know this is a floor was lava situation. Yeah, you can't go back and get it. Wait, oh, shine that light over here. You're getting yours. No, I'm getting. You're getting what? Uh, Any of this organized situation that you did here in the garage? What did I do with it? I don't know, buddy. Oh yeah, I got new racks in the garage racks for anyone who cares. I have all my camping stuff here. Looks so good. Skateboards and stuff over there. Well, I really still can't park in here, but that's okay. That's fine. We got that's motorcycles. Fun. Who needs to park in here with your motorcycles? My forerunner. My forerunner is park in the garage. When you get your forerunner, then we'll park in the garage. Put that in the video. So we have proof. Is grab that the, it? Grab the hover quilt. Buddy, I can only grab so many more things. I got two water bottles. I got an iPad. I got my phone. We're going camping. We're very far from provisions. Take off your shoes. My fancy little slippers. Those are very nice slippers. Wow, it is cold out here, huh? Move it. Oh, look at this. This is nice. <laughs> I can't reach it. Help me. Ugh. It's already like not that oh. cold sitting in here. That's nice. And this looks so good in here. This is good. Oh, oh yeah. 
I was looking at the instructions on the uh, Claymore Lantern. Yeah. So this is like fire. If you click it once, it didn't look like it changed, but that's like it sunset. Did. So nice. And then this is moonlight. Ooh. And then this is sunrise. Nice. Trying to set a mood in here, buddy? Which one would you prefer? Probably sunset. We're, yeah. we're really living the camping experience right now. So here we go. That's fire. Ooh, so warm. Feel it. Zipper on up. Yeah, do we want to zip everything up? Yeah. To really feel how warm it gets? We might as well. Yeah. So I want to test this sucker out. Put the door down first. Oh, God. The bug screen in case we have bugs in the garage. Just in case. I, we got a lot of spiders. Before we came in here, yeah, I did. We're good. <laughs> no, did you? <laughs> I don't keep track of your pee cycles, dude. All right, guys, so here we are camping in the garage. This is so dumb. It's great. This is no, my this idea. Is great. This is a great idea. This is a great idea. You have to test things out. First. So we had like full blown dinner in our house. What did I make? We cleaned chicken caprese or something. However you say it. In the air fryer. It was great. And now we're camping in the garage. It's super quiet out here. Yeah. It's like we're actually camping. So we were sitting there having dinner. I'm like, oh, if we're going to be in a tent, I should put some stuff on the iPad. So I like started downloading some episodes of Ozark, which just came out. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, we're in the garage. I can just connect to my Wi-Fi because it's all over here. There so. was like a 30 minute lapse though. But it wasn't we like an immediate thought like, oh, we're in the garage. It's yeah, like it was 30 like, minutes oh, later yeah. he goes. I'm so used to going <laughs> camping and like downloading stuff so we can like watch a movie or something I when we go to bed. I just let you do but... you, boo-boo. I was like, if he wants to download it, okay. You're ridiculous. Maybe there's something you, I don't know. You didn't think about that either. So this is the, the setup right here. I have this like iPad thing, which I used to use in my van where I would like connect it to my wall and you can mount your iPad in here. And the iPad, it's like a, it's a little one, but it's gonna be like a movie theater in here. It's gonna be so nice. Can you put it in there and see if it'll hold it up? I don't know if it's going to. Okay, Honey. now let it go. Hold on, I'm very nervous. We might have to push it. Okay, that's not bad. All right. That's not bad. I don't even know if we're going to have to use our sleeping bags in here. I know, it's so nice and toasty. Like granted, it's probably 25 degrees in the garage. Oh. It's probably about 25 degrees in the garage because I just had the door open. We were snuggling, snuggling show. <laughs> <laughs> we were shoveling snow. It's, it's cold in here, but inside of the new X cover, it feels pretty good. All right, well, we're going to watch some Ozarks and We'll routinely check in and let you guys know how it's going. Okay, it's been an hour. We made it through another episode of Ozark. Are you sleeping over there? No, I gotta pee. Ashley has to pee, but there are no bathrooms out here in the wilderness, so go find a tree. Yep. Good luck. We are now on the uh, moonlight mode on the lantern. This thing's sweet. It actually allows you to charge your cell phone too. So if you have to charge your phone tonight, you can plug it into this. These things are super cool. I just wish it wasn't white and rose gold. What if they make a black one? They might. You can put that in your Forerunner whenever that comes in. So even though we have like the top part open, it's not as warm as it could possibly be. We're chilling right now. We climbed inside of our bags. I might at least climb out of my bag and just use the hover quilt because it's really not that bad. I just checked the weather. It's going down to about 15 degrees outside tonight. So I think I was probably pretty close to accurate when I said it's gonna get down to like 25. It still isn't a great test though because where I wanna go camp this coming week, it's going to like negative seven the one night and five degrees. I wanna get out, but this might be as close as we get for now. What are you doing over here? <laughs> Chunks of ginger stuck in my teeth. Why are you drinking ginger when we're going to bed? It's a good anti-inflammatory. But seriously, look at that chunk. Yeah, that's gross. So she's gonna go pee out in the garage. You can't use the bathroom. You got a bottle? Around here? Finish your ginger drink and pee in the bottle. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna watch some more episodes of Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think we're probably gonna pass out, so check in in a second. My hair looks so 
Is my hair just sticking up and you didn't tell me? Yeah, it looks great. I look like a freaking, I look like a who is what I look like. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. oh, God. Oh, my God. All right, we're, we'll check in in the morning. Ah! And I'll let you know how the sleep went. Good morning, everyone. Look at my glasses. <laughs> it's a little foggy in here, a little steamed up. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Yeah, so there is like a little bit of moisture in here, but that's just from us like breathing and everything. But it's not, not too bad. We slept so well that it is now like 10:15, and it's pitch black in here. <laughs> it's so nice. I know. So the X cover, I think did a great job. Obviously it's kind of hard to tell when you're not like outside, outside. But at one point I was fully wrapped up in my zero degree sleeping bag and I woke up sweating. I was like, oh my God, I'm dying. Me too. So I kind of slept like this. I had my hat and my hoodie off and I just kind of slept like with the lower half of my body in the bag. It would probably be even warmer. Turn this up. Not the sunrise. The sunrise, that's the sunrise setting. It would be even warmer in here if I had had this closed, but we just left that open. Heat rises, so I'm sure we left a little bit of heat out that way. So I think this was a success. Wasn't planning on camping in the garage, but here we are. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions on the iCamper Sky Camp Mini or this insulated cover, let me know. I'll leave a link for the cover down in the description below and the, uh, the light too, I, I really like the light. Wait, you, they can't see that you can't see because this is all fogged up. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> it's hard to tell, I don't know. All right, we're gonna break this down and uh, get on with the day. So if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.